Early childhood fame and a fast track to becoming one of the biggest pop stars of the world led Britney Spears to an ultimate downfall. Her public spiral is one of tabloids' history's greatest, and while we haven't heard from Spears in some time, she may never come back at all. This is our breakdown of how Britney Spears will never be okay again. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number 10. Rise to Fame Britney Spears first broke out on the Mickey Mouse Club, a singing and talent show for children. She and her young co-stars, including Ryan Gosling, Christina Aguilera, and Justin Timberlake were training to become America's biggest stars. Spears was the first among them to explode onto the national scene into her late teenage years. With the release of her hit album and single, Baby One More Time, Spears became one of the biggest stars yet, with the album going platinum twice and the single debuting as the number one on the US Billboard 200. Number 9. Justin Timberlake and Marriages When news leaked that Spears was dating NSYNC frontman Justin Timberlake, fans went nuts. The tabloids couldn't get enough of the superstar couple, though this relationship would ultimately lead to Britney Spears' war with the paparazzi. Into her early 20s, Spears had become such a massive star, it was hard to get anywhere. Many point to the moment Timberlake and Spears split as the first step towards the Spears battle with controlling her public persona. The pressure was probably unimaginable, though it didn't help that Spears went on to marry her childhood friend. Jason Alexander for a mere week. Quickly after that, she would wed backup dancer Kevin Federline, and the couple had two sons. Number eight, being a mom. Well, like she would have friends over, and I was like always dancing. She was like, "Shut up, Brittany. We have company over." I was uh -huh. always entertaining. The family worried that her instability would be troubling for the two young boys. As early as four months old, Spears was questioned about her maternal abilities. She was photographed driving with her infant son on her lap, with no car seat or belt. She later released a statement that said she was fleeing from the paparazzi and feared for the safety of her child. She was quoted as saying, I was terrified that this time the physical aggressive paparazzi would put both me and my baby in danger. I instinctively took measures to get me and my baby out of harm's way, but the paparazzi continued to stalk us. I love my child and I would do anything to protect him. The press would let the story go and continue to follow the star's every move. By 2007, Spears ended up divorcing Kevin and entered into a very public and very messy custody battle. It seemed that the pressures of constant media coverage and attention were so great, the pop star couldn't bear it. Number 7. Rehab and Hair Spears ended up going to a rehabilitation clinic in the Caribbean called Crossroads Center. When she returned, the news didn't let up and Spears began spiraling. Britney faced an inevitable and extremely publicized total breakdown. The tipping point seemed to be one evening when she walked into a hair salon in Sherman Oaks, California. She went to the hairstylist and asked her to completely shave her hair off. The stylist refused to do it at first, but then Spears snatched the clippers from her hand and proceeded to mow down her locks. Meanwhile, paparazzi had gathered outside the window and were taking photos and video of everything. As Spears left, one photographer continued to harass her for a photo. Spears took an umbrella rod and smashed it into his car. This was only the beginning of all the bad press she would face. Number 6. Fan Post I know what a great uncle and brother you've been, so I wanted to give you a special treat. Oh my god, thank you! Despite all the extreme difficulties that Spears was facing, she assured fans with a post on her website. She promised them a comeback, saying, quote, I know I've been far from perfect, but the media has a lot of fun exaggerating my every move. I look forward to coming back this year, bigger and better than ever. End quote. Of course, two days after the haircutting incident, Spears ultimately ended up checking herself into a rehab clinic in Malibu called Promises. As her time progressed, she continued to update her fans on her website. She posted, quote, I genuinely did not know what to do with myself, and it made me so sad. I confess, I was so sad. End quote. Number 5. Custody Battle Later that summer of the same year, 2007, Spears lost custody of her two boys. Her battle with quote-unquote K-Fed was over. The court ruled that she lost because of her mental instability. Only a few months later in the fall, Spears tried to make a comeback, but it was clear that it was way too soon. The star performed at the MTV Music Awards, and the show was considered a disastrous flop. Fans began to worry about the star, and it seemed that she had lost a lot of credibility. 
That being said, she hadn't fallen professionally. In fact, her November 2007 release of the album Blackout hit number two on the Billboard charts. Towards the end of the year, many felt her career was carrying on as if nothing bad at all had happened. Her track, Piece of Me, won Video of the Year. Many fans thought she was making a major comeback. Number 4. Inner Demons While fans saw Britney's quick rise back to fame and felt that she was getting everything together, the truth couldn't have been more different. The star was still facing many emotional battles. This included another ongoing custody battle as she fought to get her two sons back. Because of Spears' actions, she was placed in legal conservatorship. This gave her father legal control of her finances and much of her life. Ultimately, Spears was granted 30% custody of her sons, but it seems she wouldn't ever have a normal life again. Number 3. Control Meanwhile, the star was forced to pay a $2,000 monthly child support bill to her ex-husband. All the while, her father controlled everything from her bank account to monthly allowance and even decisions about her music and tours. He collected a salary from her, and many of her basic rights were limited. These included her right to marry, have children, drive, vote, or even knowledge of how her money is being spent. She must also be supervised to leave her property and can't give unscripted interviews. Spears also can't travel, hang out with friends, or even use the internet unmonitored. Her father controls her estates and all finances. Spears is even limited to being able to hire her own lawyer. Her father Jamie was in control of every aspect of her life. Number 2. Hospitalized In early 2019, her father Jamie was hospitalized, and the unjustness of these controls came to light. Many fans were shocked when they learned the guardianship had still been going on. It was only meant to be temporary, but it had been over 10 years. Number 1. Spears Empire While Spears was under the control of her father, her brand was still growing. During this time, Spears has made more and more money and her career has continued to expand. While the 38-year-old has two teenage sons, she's also been a judge on The X Factor and released a number of clothing lines and perfumes. She has also completed a number of successful world tours, which have brought in millions respectively. For example, the Peace of Me tour in 2018 grossed an estimated $54.6 million. Her net worth is estimated to be approximately $59 million. Fans are questioning why the star is still not in control of her life and finances. While the agreement was put in place to protect the star from her own instability at the time, many argue things have changed. Spears is putting in all the work to make this money, but isn't in control of any of the reward. In early 2020, fans had a renewed concern over the conservatorship and were worried that she was being manipulated and controlled. Many of her posts were concerning and had fans wondering what was going to happen to her. Her father's control was postponed to late August. Spears would have to appear in court to fight for her own freedom. Since Spears has stopped touring or producing new music, her upcoming Vegas residency has been postponed, though many point to the ongoing pandemic as the cause. Meanwhile, her father is fighting his own illness in the hospital. This has brought many to question his ability to be her guardian. All of this sparked the new hashtag, Free Britney. Despite the constraints, she has been dating her personal trainer and seemed to be living life okay. Her Instagram fans asked her to wear yellow if she wanted to send a covert message to them that she needed help. Of course, Spears recently did post a yellow screen and cited it as being her favorite color, representing positivity. This has fans more concerned than ever before. Her brother recently spoke out and defended his father. He said that the family was trying to do the best they could in such a difficult situation. He even mentioned that she's been having problems for a long time. Who knows what Britney Spears' future holds? Things certainly seem unclear. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. That's all for now. This has been Britney Spears Will Never Be Okay Again. Have a good one. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.